Hi, this is Congressman Tom Cole, the 4th District of Oklahoma, and this is another one of our uh, weekly chats on what's happening in Congress, and frankly, quite a bit is going on. Two major items are whether or not we will finish the appropriations bills for next year that would fund all the federal government through uh, September of 2021, and second, whether we'll get a second or another coronavirus relief bill. Uh, the first bill, that is the appropriations question, we're actually close to agreement. Most of the individual bills have been negotiated, uh, but there's still a couple of sticking items. The Democrats uh, want to spend an additional $12.5 billion, and uh, that will put us above the agreed upon numbers from the 2019 budget deal. Republican position is we've been spending a lot of money. Uh, we ought to draw the line here. Uh, I'm very supportive of that position, hope we end up there. But uh, while $12.5 billion is certainly a lot of money, this is a $1.4 trillion funding bill. So it, in the great scheme of things, it's not that much money. But the principle is when we negotiate a deal, we should stick to the deal we negotiated. And I'm hopeful we'll get there or some compromise can be found and we'll get the government funded and get out of this pattern of lurching from one continuing resolution for a week or two. Uh, and uh, actually give the agencies uh, the structure that they need to plan and appropriately spend the amount of money we do appropriate uh, over the next uh, 10, 12 months or so. The second uh, item I think is really in some ways almost more critical. That's another coronavirus relief bill. There's been some progress there. Uh, all sides have agreed on a top line number. That's someplace around $900 billion, maybe a little bit more. Uh, there's uh, couple of competing proposals, three really, but uh, certainly one from the uh, bipartisan so-called Problem Solvers Caucus, it's $908 billion. The administration has offered a $918 billion bill, a little bit more money, but it spends it in different ways. Uh, the first bill would actually put more money uh, in the unemployment fund so that people can get money above and beyond what their state uh, allots to them. The second bill would uh, provide checks to individual Americans whether they were unemployed or not. And that's really the debate. Do we need to give checks to people that don't need it or should we focus all our help on people that do? So that needs to be uh, worked out. But I think there's no question that the bill is necessary. We've had two disturbing reports in the last two weeks. One that uh, shows uh, that we're actually not growing as fast as we had been. In other words, the effects of the previous stimulus bills are wearing off. And second, uh, just yesterday, uh, numbers were released that showed the number of uh, Americans asking for unemployment relief had actually ticked up. Still less than a million, but a very substantial 856,000 people uh, asked to go on unemployment this last week. And again, uh, the extra money uh, would really be targeted to helping people that uh, have been hit the hardest by coronavirus. We all agree there needs to be additional money for small businesses. We all agree there needs to be additional money for vaccine distribution. We all agree there needs to be additional money to help schools open and deal with the problems that they're facing. So uh, we're really, we're pretty close to one another. This gets down to whether or not people can put their individual egos aside and actually focus on what needs to get done. Uh, it's my hope we can get those done uh, by Wednesday or Thursday of next week and wrap up uh, uh, the, the normal business of Congress for the year. Uh, so I'm sure I'll chat with you next week and let you know how the negotiations have gone. Uh, beyond that, uh, let me just remember uh, some good news. Uh, this week, uh, we finally got approval for one of the vaccines for emergency use, uh, the one uh, that uh, was put out by Pfizer. I think we'll see another one. Uh, coming from Moderna probably next week. Uh, that is very good news. We could literally have tens of millions of Americans in the next few weeks getting the first of the vaccines. Now that doesn't mean that we can uh, ignore what our healthcare professionals tell us to continue to do, and that's to wear a mask, to do social distancing, to frequently wash uh, one's hands. And we're gonna need to do that for many months to come. We won't be in a position to have a vaccine for every American uh, until probably the second maybe early in the third quarter of next year. Um, but we can start getting vaccines to our healthcare workers who are on the front lines of fighting, our nurses, our doctors, our professionals that are dealing with every day. And uh, we can also uh, begin to vaccinate some of the really vulnerable populations. I'm thinking particularly of older Americans that are in nursing homes where we've had over 40% of the deaths caused by coronavirus. And those people we can get uh, into a much better position 
pretty quickly in the next 60 to 90 days. And uh, so I'm hopeful that's going to happen. But again, I would urge you, please listen to your local health care professionals and please do what they ask you to do. Please continue to wear your mask. Please continue to social distance when you can. And certainly uh, continue to wash your hand frequently. That's the best way to protect yourself. It's the best way to protect your family. It's the best way to protect everybody else in our society. So um, again, we're making progress, but we're still going to have to work through this day. And, and uh, we're seeing the ravages of the of the virus continue. Uh, we had over 3,000 deaths this week in a single day. That's a record. That's as many people in one day as we lost on 9-11. So uh, uh, it tells you we need to continue to take this very seriously. And our hospitals are being pushed increasingly to the breaking point. Uh, in Oklahoma, over 90% of the intensive care unit beds are occupied right now. So we don't have much margin for error. And our healthcare professionals are counting on all of us to do our part uh, to try and slow the number of people that are actually uh, being uh, infected by the virus and uh, obviously then need hospitalization after that. So uh, please do your part. And again, I look forward to visiting with you next week.